We are honored today to recognize the recipient of this year's Government Excellence Award. This award recognizes extraordinary achievement and outstanding support for the university by a current or former elected or appointed government official. The award is presented to a government official who has taken significant action to demonstrate com commitment to Missouri State University. The recipients of the Governmental Excellence Award are approved by the Board of Governors based on recommendations by the university president and the leadership of the Faculty Senate, Staff Senate, Student Government Association, the Administrative Council, and others in the university community. Missouri State is proud to present this recognition today to former State Senator Jay Wasson. Senator Wasson began his tenure in the Missouri Legislature in 2002 when he was elected to the Missouri House of Representatives, serving the 141st District. Then in November 2010, he was elected to the Missouri Senate and served eight years. There, Senator Wasson represented the 20th Senatorial District, which includes the citizens of Christian County and parts of Greene County. Senator Wasson distinguished himself as a legislator who fought for education, research, and economic development. He pushed e each year to increase state funding for Missouri State University and higher education generally throughout the state. Perhaps most important to the future of our university, earlier this year, Senator Wasson championed legislation that removed limitations on Missouri State's ability to offer professional and doctoral degrees. He also spearheaded efforts to modify tuition restrictions and reform the state's tax increment financing laws to make funding available for projects like the expansion of Jordan Valley Innovation Center in Idea Commons. I'm so pleased to present this award to a great friend and friend of Missouri State University, Senator Jay Wasson. Thank you. Uh, this is quite an honor for me. Um, I want to thank the board and the president, uh, Smart. This is doubly uh, honoring for me to come to be received this from President Smart, someone who I have just the greatest appreciation for and, and what he's done for this school and also I consider a good friend. I. Uh, I started uh, when I was a young man, uh, and, and, and I, this school has always been uh, in my area. I grew up around here. I have supported this school over the years um, for various reasons. I mean, one obvious one is the huge, monstrous economic impact this school has on this area. But to me, the more important reason is the education that you get here, you the students, and the lives that are changed here. Uh, I am one, uh, not many people know this, in a very small way, in a very small class, my life was changed on this campus. Um, I, my father passed away when I was a teenager. I did not think that I could go to college. I thought I needed to get into the workforce and make some money. I went into home building. I built my first spec house when I was 19 years old. I soon started to uh, develop property and put in subdivisions. I wanted to know more about it. I wanted to educate myself better. There was a night class here at Missouri State taught by uh, Gerald Scarlett back in 1977. Uh, it was called Site and Land Planning. I took that night class and Mr. Scarlett after we talked, when I first went in there, he uh, found out I was from a little small town south of here named Nixa, and that my mother at that time was the mayor. And he wanted to do a, a uh, paper, a term, a class project uh, about a small town and how a small town might grow and what it would take for that growth to happen and project what that growth might be. So I spent the entire semester delving into all things Nixa, uh, the parks, uh, the roads, the utilities, the schools, all the reasons someone might come to a small town and how that town might grow. 
And believe it or not, I got an A in, in the class, and 20 years later, after we did our projections, those paper, that report, was almost spot on on the growth that had happened in Nixa and what we had done in Nixa. It was just almost perfect. Now, personally, what I got out of the class, I went on two paths. One was the one I expected when I took the class. I expected to learn how to develop a piece of property the right way, how to, to take real estate and make it the most, get the best use out of it and, and do it in, in the proper regards. But also, by doing all that work in Nixa, I began to appreciate the government side of it, the civic side of it, what a government has to do to attract people to its city, to grow and stay ahead of the curve of the growth. And so therefore, after that, I began to get involved in the city of Nixa. I was on the park board. I was on the planning and zoning board. I originally ran for the city council, and finally, at, after a while, I became the mayor of Nixa. And, uh, not too long after I became the mayor, just a couple of weeks, I actually got my first obstacle in life, my first real problem. I uh, had my first attack of multiple sclerosis. And I lost a lot of my eyesight temporarily. I lost the use of my left leg for the most part. And when something like that happens to you, or at least with me, it changes. It changes you. It changes your priorities. It changes your perspective. And I had these two paths that I'd been going down, and one was my business path, and one was the public service path, and business had always been the priority, and public service was the secondary. And in that time, because I had committed to that job that didn't pay anything uh, for a small town, but at the time we were the, the fastest growing city in the state of Missouri, and I think at that time the 13th fastest in the United States. And I was committed, and I felt that commitment, and that's the reason that I kept getting up every morning. And I lost more interest, didn't drop it, always I still develop today. But I lost some interest in the business side, and I really wanted to honor that commitment on the public service side. So after a few years in that at Nixa, I had found that I really just loved public service, and I thought I was pretty good at it. I ended up running for state representative, and I served 16 years in the legislature. I found something that I had a passion about. I found something that I could make a living at and that I absolutely enjoyed doing. That is what I hope for you, for you the graduates. I, I, I hope that you can find a goal. Don't, don't, although this is, and I congratulate you on this day, you have worked hard. You should be celebratory today. This is a huge day for you. But this is not the end. This is the beginning. This is where you establish your goals. This is where you look down the horizon. And once you establish that goal, you decide how you're going to build that path to it and how you're going to get to that goal. And I will promise you one thing. Almost each and every one of you, at some point in your life, you're going to hit an obstacle. You're going to have something happen to you. It may not be of your choosing. It may not be have anything to do with choices that you've made. It's just something that happens. And what you have to do at that point is make the right choices how you're going to get through and around it. Don't look at the obstacle and say, oh, why me? Don't just stare at the obstacle. Look at the horizon and look at your goal and figure out how to get there and get through the obstacle. Keep putting one foot in front of the other, even if you have to drag one of them like I did. I, I cannot say enough about how big of a challenge life is, but how joyful it is. And I envy you so much because you have so many opportunities in front of you. Every single thing, good or bad, that comes with you comes attached with all kinds of opportunities. You have just a world of opportunity in front of you. I wish you all the luck in the world. I wish you peace and contentment and success. And I, I just absolutely congratulate you today and feel like you are on top of the world. And I know you're going to do well out there. I look at this bear. I don't know if this makes me a bear, but I now have a bear. And I'm very, very proud of it. Thank you for having me here today.